Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get right into the topic today of will my stuff come back? What I'm talking about is this spinach and some lettuce. Will it come back? I need to know. If you haven't seen uh, the videos on uh, harvesting the spinach the first time, I'll put a link right up there to it. But I came in here the other day and cut all this down. Um, and I'm going to uh, we utilize some of it by eating it right away. And then I'm going to cook some of it down and actually freeze it. And that's how we're going to save it for later. This is the lettuce. It was leaf lettuce. We cut it down um, to, uh, and we were just going to, you know, eat it fresh, obviously. But I want to know if you guys know because the first time I've ever grown spinach, I grew uh, lettuce a long time ago, but it wasn't something that I tried to let come back. I just uh, abandoned it or ripped it out, one of the two. But I'm wondering if someone out there knows. Leave a comment down in the bottom there if you've grown spinach before, if you've cut it down like this. Have I killed this? Uh, will it come back? Um, I just finished watering everything in here. It's, uh, I was in here about an hour ago and everything was fine. And then the uh, temperature went up, sun's been out all day. So everything kind of wilted over. So I just uh, just finished watering everything. Everything will be good. Um, but again, I'm wondering if I've ruined this spinach and I'm going to have to replant. Or if this is... Uh, if it's kind of like grass and it will come back so let me show you something else I got outside so this guys is the potato bed that I used the rabbit manure and horse composted manure in and I planted potatoes in here and they were doing pretty good and if you didn't see the video that I posted I'll put the link to that up there too um, I showed where they were doing really well well we got a couple frosts here which that didn't bother me so badly because uh, I've had potatoes before they got frosted and they, they've always done fine. But apparently last night, I don't know if you can see, but um, along here, it's all been dug up. And you can actually see there's a potato out of the ground over there. And they only have a few plants left that haven't been either dug completely out or destroyed. So. I believe that I have a coon or possum or possibly skunk problem. Um, skunk is probably on the back side simply because I haven't smelled one out here and it's right behind the house. However, I believe I have a uh, predator of some sort that is preying on probably the grubs and stuff and, and worms and whatnot in the ground here. So turn you around again and you can see I don't know if you can tell on camera or not but all along here they went along and dug and even on the outside of the bed they actually dug up so my guess is that uh, a coon I, I have a lot of coons around here uh, has gotten in here and just been looking for a meal and didn't want the potatoes but I'm not gonna get them either so Luckily, I have some potatoes in the house that uh, have went to uh, sprout that we're not going to eat anymore. So I think I'm going to replant. Uh, I know it's pretty late in the year to plant potatoes, but I'm going to try. These potatoes are just going to get thrown out, so we might as well put them in the ground and see if we can get something. So that's an update on the potato bed. I think everything, the potatoes came up fine. They got a little bit of frost on them. I think they would have been fine. Uh, however, now I've got an animal that seems to have come in here and uh, dug them up. So 